Charges have just been filed in the deadly hit and run outside a Kansas City mosque that killed a 15 year old boy. 34 year old Ahmed Aden faces several felony charges, including first degree murder, leaving the scene of an accident and unlawful use of a weapon. The victim, Abdisamad Sheikh Hussein, who went by the name Adam, died after suffering critical injuries in the hit and run. Tonight, members of the mosque say the suspect has threatened them before. KBC 9's Michael Mahoney kicks off our team coverage with more. Michael? Well, as you said, they now have a suspect in this case where they believe that the suspect in it deliberately rammed his SUV into the car that was carrying this 15-year-old. He died of his injuries. And now today, a hateful pattern of threat seems to be emerging. <laughs> the Somali mosque was more crowded than usual for Friday prayers as others came to grieve with the family of 15-year-old Adam Sheikh Hussein. And through another man, his father says his son's death was God's will. The gift of God, and this is the, the, the God wants that to be happen. He's, he's, he has a patient. Nobody here would say who the suspect is, but many say the man, who is also a Somali and a Muslim, had threatened this mosque earlier. In fact, one member said he had warned police. And I told them, you need to get this guy and let us we know what's going on. He made it clear that that he has a strong hatred towards Muslims in general, uh, the Somali community. Now, no one is sure, at least they wouldn't tell us today, why they thought this man might have the attitude that he had towards the Muslim faith and the Somali community, of which he was one. But it certainly seems like it was no secret here. And last night, he apparently acted upon some of those hatreds. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The FBI's Kansas City offices, its civil rights unit, is investigating this case, too. That is the first step toward potential hate crime prosecution. Now, the Heartland Muslim Council issued a statement on the crime saying, We commend the Kansas City Police Department for apprehending the suspected killer immediately after the crime. In light of the increased attacks on the mosques across the nation, we appeal to law enforcement to provide extra security to the mosques, Islamic schools, and Muslim businesses. And today, classmates at Staley High School learned the victim of the hit and run was one of their own. KBC News' Brian Johnson continues our team coverage outside the school where the classmates are reacting. Brian? Definitely a somber mood here with many students at Staley in tears. Many students learned through social media that their friend had been killed in a possible hate crime. By the end of the day, everyone knew. The principal came on the PA at the last hour giving an announcement, addressing the issue, and having a moment of silence. Earlier in the day, people were wanting to express their condolences, their sorrow, their support to the family. This is some of the posters that they made and signed. About five posters in all were signed by students, teachers, and cafeteria workers during the lunch hours. One friend said it hit her. She told me it hit her as she signed the poster that she won't ever get to see him again. Students say he was very energetic, that he greeted people each morning and made sure everyone was having a good day. And if he weren't, he helped raise your spirits. Students tell me the 10th grader went by Adam and that he will be greatly missed. Adam was a really great kid. He was really sweet. Everybody I talked to talked about his great impact, how he's a positive character in our school. He really liked to get involved. He did a lot with like the ELL class, getting in, integrated into our school and stuff. So everything I heard was great about it. And of course, there will be more counselors on Monday. There were counselors here today helping students, staff get through this grieving process. And they'll be here again on Monday as people try and address their feelings. Reporting live in the Northland, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.